Okay, in this video we'll take a look at PNG transparency. So I have a simple web page here loaded with an image. And the image right now, you can see that it has this background. And I don't want the background, I just want the feature of the image or the subject of the image to be on the page with the text. So going into Photoshop now, I have the image here. And you can see that it's not a layered file. Um, so what I have to do is I have to isolate this, this part of the image, the subject of the image, and then I have to remove the background. So I'm just gonna do this real quick with Photoshop's default um, quick selection tool. This is not gonna produce great results, but it's just for demonstration purposes only. So I'm just gonna just draw through the subject to get the details that I want. Um, it's lopping off this part of the glasses because they're too close to the color of the background probably. So I'm gonna go in and try to add that. You have to be really careful with this because if it, if it adds too much, um, then you're not gonna get what you want. So that's probably as good as this tool will do. I'm gonna lose some of the details in the beard, but um, we'll start with this. And then all I have to do down here in the layers panel is click on the third icon here from the left that will put a mask on this. So now I have just the subject and the background has been removed. Um, there's also some online tools for doing this. I'm just gonna do a quick crop. So I don't need all this empty space up in the top here. And don't need this space on the right either. And I'll just pull this in a little bit. Yeah, okay. All right, so now I have the PNG. You can see this is originally a JPEG file. Um, so I now have the subject uh, isolated. What I want to now do is export this as a PNG with full transparency. So on the file menu, I'm going to go down to export and choose export as. And you can see that it's going to export as a PNG file with transparency. If I turn that off, it'll make it white. If I turn it on, it'll make it uh, fully all this will become the alpha transparency that we need. The width and height is here. The scale is 100%. Uh, the resample size is here. And it says that it's 1.3 megabytes. We'll run this through image optim when we're done and see what that does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click export. And I'm gonna save that into my project folder. This one is gonna be PNG with transparency. And I'll click save. And like I said before, I'm gonna run this through Image Optim. Image Optim allows you to not only do PNGs, but you can do other file formats as well. So here's my PNG with the transparency. Just gonna drag that over here. And I'll start working on that. So I saved 19% of the file format, file size. Let's see what the final file, it's 1.4 megabytes. So not that much of a saving here. Okay, so now I wanna get this into my web page. So in my web page, I have the file is in an image tag, PNG without transparency. All I have to do is change that to PNG with transparency, save the file changes, go back to my browser and reload. And now you can see what the PNG with the transparency does. So the background is completely gone and I'm left with just the subject. Didn't do too bad here with the beard uh, or the glasses, um, so not too bad. And that orange halo, um, this is looking pretty good because I used the same orangey color. If it was a different color, some of these things might show up worse. Uh, but that's PNG transparency.